Hey now, what's up? Big Al Sam's here, talking with my man Sean here. We're talking movies, and the number one movie in the world, Black Panther, is in theaters now, and it had a great box office. We're gonna tell you what we thought about the movie, but first, have a look at the trailer. I have seen gods fly. I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Uh-huh. I've seen aliens drop from the sky. is your time. Show me my respect and bow down. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. The revolution will not be televised. now determines what happens to the rest of the world. I'm all about it. I'm, I'm, I'm excited just looking at the trailer right there. There's a lot of extras with this one, ever with this one. The first uh, superhero movie, the biggest box office ever, $235 million. We're talking about highest rated uh, superhero movie ever. I mean, there's a lot of efforts to this, but uh, what do you think about the movie? Uh, first of all, Long Live Wakanda. Uh, I'm a big <laughs> fan of this movie. It was everything I wanted from these type of movies. Not only uh, was, it, was the acting fantastic, the, the story was great. But it had what many of the superhero comic book movies fail to have right now, and that's a fully formed, realized bad guy. Mm. So often these movies have so much put into it, and then at the end they're just fighting some sort of random computer graphic generated right, monster, right. some sort of random phantasmal ex cosmic existence thing. Yeah. Like, uh, Eric Killmonger is is on the, the short list of best villains ever in these movies. Yes. Um, uh, a hot take. He wasn't wrong. He wasn't all the way right, but he wasn't wrong. He had some points. And if if at some point I don't at least kind of try to understand, or I, not try to understand, but if at some point I don't say, hey, you know what, that, that villain, he, he's got a point. Right. That's not really a good, well-formed out character. And, and he, he was not that. He was fantastic. Yeah, he was highly conflicted with this. This character was awesome. When I, I talked to somebody coming out of the theater, and he was looking at me and said, Al, What's the big deal of this thing? Why are black people so extra about this movie? What's going on? I said, it was a couple of things. One, it's this fantastic acting, like you said, and it's it's a predominantly black cast, and they're all good. It's not just they're good, they're because they're black. They're good actors, period. And the second of all is the concept of overcoming in spite of. All the movies as overcoming in spite of slavery, overcoming in spite of shaming. You, we can go back to 12 Years a Slave and, and, and Precious and hey, we can go back to What's Love Got to Do With It, the Tina Turner story. <laughs> it's always overachieving in spite of this. This was something that was already in place. The backstory was incredible. This whole thing, Wakanda had been going on for thousands of years with this new technology and swathing the African traditions on top of that. And then the second of all was you know what? It was it was great. Killmonger kicked butt in this thing. I don't want to plot spoil too much. If you still haven't seen it, you should go see it. But he kicked butt in this movie. And it was also the fact that uh, T'Challa actually could trace his family lineage back 10,000 years. 
I could trace my lineage back to Virginia when, <laughs> when the ships landed. That's, that's about as much. And that gives a lot of African Americans a lot of pride and like, hey, you know what? Yes, this is a fake country. Yes, this is a comic book. But this is what happens if things become realized. And that, that's why it was so big with the fanboys from Marvel Comics mm -hmm. and all people of all different races going to see the movie and also for the African-American crowd. I, I think it was fantastic. And specifically the scenes that were set in Wakanda for especially being a, a fictionalized place that looks yeah. so lived in, so real, right? Yes. A lot of times you see these places and they look like almost like an Ikea display. Like right. it's shallow. You can see that they just put it up there just for that. Yeah. But there was real depth to a lot of the things that they did in this movie. And the, the from the set design to the acting to the sound design, all of it was, was top-notch fantastic. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's everything I want from these movies. It had that Star Wars quality to it. Like, they've been, you're late to the party. This has been, this has been going on for eons. There's already a galaxy far, far away. The same thing with Wakanda. This has been happening for, for thousands of years. Yes, and it also does a, a brilliant thing of, while it is wildly entertaining, yeah. and it is a movie made by Disney, meant to cater to, to kids and teenagers and, and you know, grown-up teenagers like myself. <laughs> right, right. Um, it, it does a wonderful job of Trojan horsing some brilliant philosophical debates and topics. And the, the, the group texts that my friends have been having about this movie have been going on since we watched it. And yeah. we, it's bringing up, it's it's wonderful conversations and starting dialogues and that's, that, it's a wonderful thing. I, I highly recommend this movie. I really enjoyed it. Hey, shout out to Ryan Coogler, uh, Sac State alumni, Stingers Up, uh, made, us, made, made this movie just fantastic well done guys so hey what do you think about the movie if you agree with us or disagree with us go ahead and hit us up on twitter at big al sams and at positive sean let us know all about it we're big al and sean we just talking movies <laughs>